Go back to part two of this edition of Friday Night Lights. We keep the highlights rolling with a game that's just down the road. Unionville Siebling traveling to take on a Michigan Lutheran Seminary. The Patriots going to hand it off to Caden Ranky right up the middle. Dragon defenders for the first down. But the Cardinals would stand tall thanks to plays like this. Brock Ochoa. Going to come up, keep contained, throw down the ball carrier. Now fourth down, big play. MLS comes up big again. USA drops back, but Luke Zondervan says no, sir. Big time sack for the Cardinals as MLS takes down the Patriots tonight, 37 to 14. Staying in Saginaw, we head over to Carlton. The Cavaliers welcoming Birch run to town. It's a quick throw, but Carlton's Darion Carter right there to make a great defensive play. Cavaliers were done on defense. Mishandled. Carlton's Gavin Garza pounces on it, but Birch run would start rolling after that. They hand it to Wyatt Stevens. He punches it in from a few yards out. The Panthers take the lead, and they wouldn't look back. Look at this play action. Fake by David Lopez rolls out, connects with Alex Chase, all alone for the touchdown as Birch Run goes on to win this one 47 to 16. Now, several games in our area were simply postponed from yesterday to today, and this includes this one between South Flint Southwestern and Swartz Creek. Picking things up in the second half, Dragons were already up 54 to nothing. Jaguars getting the second half kickoff. Javion Howe gets blown up by Christoph Copeland, and the ball is loose. Flint Southwestern recovers, though. What a hit still. Third down for the Jaguars. Nation Ta Tyler takes the handoff, and he takes off. 56 yards, he'll go down and gets just stopped right before the goal line. He would then punch it in for a Jags touchdown. Swartz Creek, though, still taking the huge win today, 60 to 6. And as we head out to Linden, the Eagles were taking on Garden City to start off the season. Near the end of the first half, Michael Bush passes to Connor Hullett for the score. They get the point after for that one, and Linden would cruise to get the win over Garden City, 35 to 6. Our last highlight stop of the night is to Garber. The Dukes taking on Hemlock. Garber driving, but Blake Lapla has another idea. The big fella coming up with a big time stop. The Huskies looking to create something on offense. Hemlock completes the pass, but look at the hustle from Max Fellows. He punches the ball out from behind, and Ethan Pat going to dive on it. Garber takes over. The Dukes would cash it in. Owen oh, Halstead going to lob it up to Fellows. Grabs it and then says, get off me. Big time stiff arm from him. He walks in for the score. Garber goes on to defeat Hemlock 42-14.